Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Terry. In this video, we'll talk about an incident story of a Filipino who just recently went home to the Philippines. Lost items in his checked-in luggage. A Filipino content creator from Madrid, Spain, allegedly fell victim to bukas maleta thieves. So guys, as you can see, I'm here sa Etihad office na. I'm still shaking because he's so brown. Galit and frustrated ako kasi I've waited almost two hours here. So guys, ito yung itsura ng maleta ko. As you can see, may Dior shoes ako dito for my sister. Pero pagbukas mo, walang laman. Lahat ng to kanina nakakalat yan around here. So kinuha lang nila yung sapatos. Iniwan nila yung box. Tapos yung Balenciaga shoes ko na bulky, andito yan. Wala na rin siya. As you can see, Yep, so yun na lang yung natira sa maleta ko. Lahat po tinanggal nila yung mga damit. Ayan, meron dyan damit. Also, itong Blue de Chanel perfume ko. Apat to, as you can see. Isa na lang ang natira, nasa loob pa ng box. Also guys, 13.5 kilos to nung chinek in ko. And nung niway ng airport ngayon, 8 kilos na lang siya. So medyo halatang may nagnakaw. Nasa police station na ako filing my police report. Then, yun na yun. Around 200,000 worth of luxury goods were taken from his luggage, including expensive shoes, bags, perfumes, and clothes. According to the traveler, he arrived in Ia Terminal 3 on an Etihad Airways flight. Upon disembarkation, he was waiting for his bag. It was kind of strange because you know, he was he was fly he flew business class guys and you know already if you fly business class they're always priority even to the releasing of luggages but in his case his bag was one of the last to be released. And upon checking he saw that the locks were forcefully opened. His bag was damaged. He said it was a new bag. And he was not sure, although he was not sure whether where he lost his items he said he only found that the locks of his luggage opened with one of them almost empty upon landing in manila so he he doesn't know whether it happened in um abu dhabi or in from his origin country in spain he says he was traumatized because for the first time in 23 23 years of traveling it happened to him what if this happens to our fellow Filipinos who worked hard for their money and their presents for their loved ones and it is stolen? Yeah, I mean, this guy, I hate to say it, but uh, at least it happened to some guy who is popular, uh, a popular TikTokerist. What if it happened to a regular Filipino, to, what, to us? We wouldn't have attention, we wouldn't gain traction. According to the traveler, he hasn't received any assistance yet even from the airline etihad says that we are aware of this case and the team is looking into it and investigating the matter and in fact manila international airport already did their investigation and they said an all-night investigation was conducted by manila international airport and etihad through a review of various cctv footages and it revealed that the luggage tampering could not have happened at Naia Terminal 3, but at foreign airports where passenger made stopovers en route to Manila. So he had a layover only in Abu Dhabi. So, or it could have happened in Spain from his origin country. What do you guys think? Have you had experience losing items in your checked in luggage? I mean, you know, guys, uh, of all people, it happened to him. So surely those thieves knew that his bags had luxury items inside, right? Well, if it happened to me, they'd be disappointed. They would only find chocolates that's near expiration. <laughs> um, the traveler said that his that luggage supposed to be 13 kilos in weight. But after the incident, it only weighed 8 kilos. So that means he lost around 5 kilos of valuables. He already filed all the complaints needed to authorities, to the airline. They're, he's collaborating with them. The only thing he can do right now is collaborate and wait. Uh, 
one thing for sure, it's gonna be a long ride. It's gonna be a long wait. Six months at least for a claim to be investigated and claims involving law enforcement oh, will typically take longer. One traveler shared who also lost some items with an Etihad flight said it took them 19 months before he was compensated. A headache dealing with airlines. I myself, I shared it on my Facebook page, is dealing with Cebu Pacific. Anyways, what we can learn from this experience of traveler. Taking a photo of what's inside your luggage can help in case if it happens to any one of you guys. Take a photo of what's inside your checked-in luggage. Avoid checking in expensive items as much as possible. Put it in your hand carry. The hand carry is always with you, no? You can take care of it, but checked-in luggage, once they have it, you have no control of it. So as much as possible, put expensive items with you in your hand carry. Uh, most airlines allow 7 kilos of hand carry. And most airlines uh, don't really weigh hand carry, the hand carry bag as long as it is within the allowable size. Uh, one thing I did when I traveled domestic with Cebu Pacific, I did uh, self-check-in. So they didn't have the chance to weigh my um, hand carry <laughs> and if it cannot really be avoided you know sometimes you have bulky items like expensive shoes that are bulky or let's say uh, all the items cannot be fit in the 7 kilos or 10 kilos hand carry on, carry on then as much as possible the other option is to separate the luxurious items expensive items do not put them all in one bag to avoid attracting the attention of thieves as another option is to have covers for your luggage you know how in the airport they have those um, cling wrap covers for luggage that could also help and another thing if you're carrying expensive items perhaps it is good to consider availing baggage insurance I hope this story serves as a warning especially for travelers with expensive items as much as possible, put it in your hand carry. Be careful guys when talking to people at the airport. Theft happens even inside a plane. Be careful, be mindful of your things. I'll keep you posted on the story of this guy. On He actually is, is very transparent on TikTok. I'll share to you whatever happens to his claims. But stay safe you all and God bless. <music>